Oh, Canine Corps? Well, um, that, that's what I wanted to do when I initially came on to the police department. And uh, it, it takes a lot of time because it's highly competitive to get in here. But uh, I just love the fact of being able to, to help people by tracking down just bad guys, period. Uh, the dogs do so much and they keep uh, everybody so much safer by, by working the dog, uh, officer, citizen. It's just, a, it's just a great thing to be able to work a dog and, and find people. Come back here. This is one of our training walls. We can take the dogs and run them through here. Uh, the brown boxes on the floor are speed boxes, which we use to pretty much just uh, the beginning of a dog's training for uh, its drug work. Then you can take uh, the dogs around across this white wall and you can put narcotics, marijuana, stuff like that in any of those holes and the dogs will run up and down it and then they'll, when they find the, uh, the training aid, they'll sit on it. That's their alert. And then boom, they get a tennis ball and everything's happy. Oh well, these dogs, uh, most of our dog, all of our dogs are European dogs. Uh, they've got a little uh, higher drive to them than uh, you know dogs that are bred in the U.S. now, because mainly most of them are bred for, for being pets. Uh, our dogs are bred for working, and uh, the amount of drive that they have is just incredible. So a dog with high drive, you're able to, to train what I think to be uh, considerably easier, you know, than a lazy dog. But uh, that, that's primarily it. These are our uh, area search boxes. Uh, they simulate several things. Someone hiding, you know, in, a, in an open area. It also simulates like door searches, stuff like that inside buildings. But uh, what happens is we bring the dogs out here. We'll set them in the middle and then we send them and the dog will go and check each box. And whenever they come to the hot box where the decoy is hiding, um, he'll alert which usually is they scratch at the door real bad, they start barking, and whenever we get a good solid alert, we're confident that's the box, we call the dog back to us. They come all the way around, get into a hill, we hook them up, then we call the box. If the dog has done his job, the decoy will come out of the box, throw the high sign, and then, you know, we win. These are the three uh, canine officers that uh, lost their lives in the line of duty. And then everyone on this wall right here is uh, all of our active canine officers, starting with uh, the most senior one, which is myself. <clears throat> Everything that the canine unit does uh, has to be a felony. So it's a, it's a major crime in the first place. and. Uh, it has to be in progress, and that's what dictates to us as to how we can use the dogs. If, they, if, if it's a stolen car, armed robbery, stabbing, shooting, something like that, we have good suspect information, we can get out and we can track on those. Every time that there's an officer that loses their life in the line of duty, we get updates on it and then we transfer that information on this board. It keeps us advised of how many officers we lose in a year. And so far for the year of 2018, we've lost 124 officers in the line of duty. Uh, 46 were to gunfire, 38 were auto related, and we've lost 25 dogs, 25 canines uh, this year. keeps in the back of your head to do a good job, be, be safe, you know, never, never be complacent, and uh, that ensures your chances of going home. Right. Uh, we were searching a, a house probably three years ago now. Uh, it was a, like a hoarder house, and they called in a burglary and uh, sent uh, my dog Bodie in, and he's searching the house, he's doing a great job, and then I noticed when he comes back out, he's sort of limping. So I figured he, you know, he might have twisted an ankle or something like that. And then when I get him out onto the uh, little uh, porch there was concrete. 
and I see he's just losing a lot of blood, just spurting blood. So what had happened was when he was in the building, in the house, he uh, got punctured and it severed a tendon and nicked an artery. So at that point, uh, I got him back to my car and uh, we you know, I carried tourniquets. I had my vest, so I took my tourniquet out, put it up on his leg and tied it down as quick as I could and I got it secured and then, you know, throw him into the car and we fly off to uh, the emergency vet hospital. Uh, he'd, he'd lost a lot of blood and uh, but everything turned out well. They got him they got him patched up and two weeks later we're back to work. Little toy he does that. He gets that every time we do something right. Good boy. The, to me, this by far is the best job on the PD. Uh, Chasing bad guys, catching bad guys, helping field officers out, just it, working with your dog every single day. It's it's pretty pretty amazing, and I would not trade this for anything. Right.